Dick Kirby's Oscar-nominated documentary, The Invisible War, is a gut-wrenching expose on rape in the U.S. military. Everything changed the, the day that I was raped. He hit me in the head and knocked me out. I remember holding the closet thinking, what just happened? A month later, I found out I was pregnant. The film contends that since 1991, about half a million military men and women have been sexually assaulted by their peers, and the U.S. military has done nothing to punish the culprits. The more we did this, these interviews, the more sort of, uh, it, the more we, we really felt that this was a film we had to really make and finish. Like Dick Kirby, most award-winning documentarians reveal hard truths that make their films tough to watch. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. The Gatekeepers is a critic's favorite. Israeli director Dror Moreh interviewed six former heads of the Shin Bet, Israel's domestic spy agency, responsible for gathering intelligence in the occupied West Bank. <laughs> They said fighting Palestinian terrorists meant that they had to bend the rules of morality and justify collateral damage. The film exposes Israel's internal divisions and offers a grim prediction of the country's future if it doesn't make peace with its enemies. Five broken cameras by Ahmad Burnat, a Palestinian villager, and Israeli filmmaker Guy Davidi, is a video diary of a mad's life under Israeli occupation in the West Bank. It's an account of how Palestinian villagers fought against the Israeli security barrier that was cutting them off from their lands. 40 million infected people is a plague! How to Survive a Plague chronicles the early years of the AIDS epidemic and how a handful of activists stemmed its deadly tide. David Franz made the film. Everything about uh, the way medicine and healthcare is delivered and practiced today is an outgrowth of AIDS and AIDS activism. So I wanted to, t I wanted to tell the story of triumph and uh, accomplishment. We need our government to save our lives. These four nominees tell powerful stories with groundbreaking footage. Born in the trouble city. But none so far has captured the hearts of the Academy's voters as much as searching for Sugar Man. It's a bit of a mystery how the first copy of Cold Fact came to South Africa, but to us, it was one of the most famous records of all time. He was the soundtrack to our lives. Bigger than Elvis. Much bigger than writing Stones. Any revolution needs an anthem. Malik Benjaloul's film is about Rodriguez, a 70s rock musician from Detroit, who had no idea that he became a music icon in South Africa. Right now, you'd have to say that that's the putative favorite. Emmy Award-winning filmmaker Nina Sivi says the Academy seems to be going more for entertainment-driven documentaries, and Searching for Sugarman fits the bill. Although the Oscars may be a popularity contest, all five documentaries were selected primarily for their merit, not for their box office allure. Thanks for keeping me alive. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington. Because I'm tired of these scenes. For a blue coin, won't you bring back?